Hello everyone, in this video we will discuss a numerical of static balancing. We already know that a system is said to be in static balance when the combined mass centers they lie on the axis of rotation or we, in other words we can say that the resultant of the forces acting on the system it should be equal to zero, right? So in the question, uh, it says that there is a circular disc which is mounted on shaft and it carries three masses. Let's say M1, M2 and M3, 4 kilogram, 3 kilogram and 2.5 kilogram. The radial distances R1, R2, R3 are also given 75 mm, 85 mm and 50 mm at angular positions of 45 degree, 135 and 240 degree respectively. The angular positions are measured counterclockwise from the reference line along the x-axis. Now, what does this mean? That if we take x-axis as the reference line and whatever mass is there, we measure it counterclockwise. This is how we calculate the angles whenever any reference is given. If you try to measure this angle in this direction, this will be wrong. No. In the question, it says that from the reference line, we have to measure the angle counterclockwise. So this is the correct way of measuring the angles. And what we have to find out, we have to find the amount of counter mass at a radial distance of 75 mm for static balance in the. So we have already written all the given data M1, M2, M3, R1, R2, R3 and theta 1, theta 2, theta 3. Now these three masses, they are in the same transverse plane and these masses are depicted or denoted by point masses at some radial distance, so M1 at some radial distance R1, M2 at some radial distance R2 and similarly M3 and there can be n number of masses in any system. So if these masses would have been statically balanced, the equation would have been summation of F which is summation of N, see it's M R omega square because omega for the whole of the system is same therefore we actually skip this factor and we say summation of M R is equal to zero. But for these three masses they are not statically balanced so this summation of M R is not equal to zero and to balance the system we have added a counter mass which is A denoted by M C at some radial distance which is given in the equation 75 mm. And we have to find the angular position of this counter mass theta mc with whose angular position is theta c. So the equation becomes this that the resultant of all the forces it should be equal to 0. That means summation of mr plus mcrc is equal to 0. Now we have already calculated what is m1 r1 m2 r2 and m3 r3. Now if this equation holds true. That means if the resultant of forces is 0, that means their x and y components should also be 0 in the system. So what we do, we break the equation in its vertical and horizontal components. So firstly, we do it for the vertical components, which says that the same equation, summation of mr sin theta plus mcrc sin theta c is equal to 0. And we break the summation so it becomes m1 r1 sin theta 1 plus m2 r2 sin theta 2 plus m3 r3 sin theta 3 plus mcrc sin theta c equal to 0. Now whatever data is given, we place the, them in the equation, right? And because the unknowns are related to this counter mass, so we keep the counter mass factors on one hand and we take all the other factors on the other hand. So when you're taking all the other factors on the other hand, there is this negative sign. Similarly, if the uh, sign component is giving the resultant 0, the cos component will also give in the resultant 0. That means horizontal component will also be 0. So summation of mr cos theta plus mcrc cos theta c is also equal to 0. So when we expand this equation, it becomes because there are three masses at three different radial distances, it becomes m1 r1 cos theta 1 plus m2 r2 cos theta 2 plus m3 r3 cos theta 3 plus m c r c cos theta c which is equal to 0. Now because all the data is given, we put all the values in the, in the equation 
and what is unknown it is the values related to counter mass so we keep the factor of counter mass on lhs and take all the other factors on the right hand side so now we have got two equations so what we are going to do we are going to square and add these two equations so when you square and add these two equations what we get on lhs it is 75 mc whole square and cos square theta plus sin square theta which eventually becomes 1 so we have not written that factor right which is equal to if you uh, calculate this value and calculate the value for the sine factor so we get these two values we do the square of these two values right and what will be 75 mc so there is this square which we take on the other side so we get the value 285.8 kilogram meter because still the value is in uh, the factor of m into r right so mc you divide this by 75 mc becomes 3.81 kilogram that means to balance that whole system statically we need to put a mass of 3.81 kilogram at a radial distance of 75 mm but the next question is at what angle to find the angle what we do we divide the two equations the one for cos theta and the other one for sin theta so the equation was something like this 75 mc right sin theta upon 75 mc cos theta so what happens 75 mc being the common factors they get cancelled out and what we are left with is the 10 factor which is 10 theta right and what is 10 theta is equal to minus of so minus we already have in this equation on the rhs and similarly for the other equation so we have these negative signs we place the value of sine which is 284.2 and for cos it is minus negative 30.68 so the answer that we get is minus 9.26 now see these signs they are very important right these signs are important because they tell us that what is the uh, value of the sine factor and what is the value of the cos factor so on the basis of their positive and negative sign we can easily trace and or calculate that in which quadrant should the counter mass should lie so in this case the sine factor is negative and the cos factor is positive so in what quadrant it should lie it should lie in the fourth quadrant so we can easily find that okay this is the angle required to place the counter mass in order to balance the system statically